The Prime Minister has announced an investigation into sacked Minister Stuart Nash, who has decided to stay on as Napier's MP for now. And the opposition is crying cover-up after it was revealed Nash's email leaking cabinet discussions to his donors was flagged with the Prime Minister's office two years ago. Here's political editor Jenna Lynch. Stuart Nash turning up to Parliament but turning away from scrutiny. Minister Nash, will you stand down from Parliament? No comment. The embattled minister's time was called by his boss last night. This evening I have advised the Governor-General to dismiss Stuart Nash from all of his ministerial portfolios. After he learned Nash had leaked and criticised a cabinet decision of a corporate rent relief package to businessmen, Troy Bowker and Greg Loveridge, both men had donated to Nash in the past. There were only two words. Utterly unacceptable. And utterly let down. <laughs> I've worked with Stuart for a long time. I'm absolutely gutted, to be frank. Why did you release confidential information? Like I said, guys, no comment. Leaving it to the Prime Minister to clean up, Hipkins announcing a review into all Stuart Nash's communications with all of his donors. Stuart has advised me that he will fully cooperate with that review. In the email to his donors, Nash says, I am as annoyed and surprised about the final outcome of the commercial rent package as you are. I should have argued much harder. Well, I think the verdict was delivered last night. But a review of Hipkins' own office has turned up an uncomfortable verdict of its own. The Prime Minister's office already knew about this email. It came up during an Official Information Act request in 2021. The Prime Minister's office ordered it out of scope. He says neither Jacinda Ardern nor her Chief of Staff were made aware at the time. I can't speak to why it wasn't flagged up at the time. So what kind of culture is it if you don't actually flag those issues uh, up, to, up, up higher up the chain? It's a cover-up. I don't think it, was, it tried to be covered up. My understanding is that it just wasn't within the scope of the request. This was Nash's fourth strike. His first was contacting Police Commissioner Andrew Costa about a court case. He finally fronted on that today and said there might be more. I have, um, I suppose, flagged... The, the potential for there to be um, further conversation on that. But strike four or strike one, this was it for Nash. The Prime Minister saying last night the single offence was sackable in its own right. He didn't put up a defence. Uh, he accepted the, um, the seriousness of the situation. Uh, he offered his resignation. I did not accept it. Um, and I indicated to him that I was going to dismiss him. I want the guy to get a fair go in this circumstance. When all the vultures are... Standing around, as I said, with this holier-than-thou attitude. In a Facebook post, Nash apologised and said, I do want to be clear, I got this wrong too many times. Fair cop. The Prime Minister did what he needed to do. I accept this with humility. Telling the people of Napier, for now I will continue to be your local MP, confirming there will be no unnecessary, messy and expensive by-election. This is the last thing our city needs. But it doesn't say if he'll retire at the election. Come on, guys, give it a miss. Will you run at the next election? His Napier constituents split on whether he should stay or go. He's blown at this time. Wake up. He shouldn't be sacked. I think he's done his dash. News Hub understands Nash will give it the week election. to make up his mind. Have you done anything else wrong, Mr Minister Nash? Whether he'll close the door on politics for good. Jenna's with us now. Kia ora, Jenna. So what is Stuart Nash's plan? Is he going to contest the election? I've spoken to Stuart Nash on the phone today. He's pretty gutted. He said there was no ill intent behind this and his colleagues and even some opposition MPs actually agree with that sentiment. While what he did was bad, what he did was very wrong, they're kind of categorising it as a dumb mistake rather than underhand tactics. Nash wants to head back to the Bay, speak to his family, speak to his electorate staff, get his uh, head together before he makes the decision about his, his future or probably more accurate announces uh, the decision about his future, it seems very likely that he will be gone come October. Any suggestion that he may cause trouble on the way out or try and start another party or join another party, uh, don't expect him to pull a goat of Sharma. Stuart Nash is the great-grandson of former 
Uh, Labor Prime Minister Walter Nash. He is very proud of the Nash name. He is very proud of his Labor ties. And while he might go out with a few more notches against his name if this review turns up more of the pattern of behaviour that we have already seen, he's not really one to go out in a blaze of glory.